Hi everybody, I'm Anne, and today we are going to look at a new entry into the at-home multi-tool competition. An at-home multi-tool is going to have a scissors, a blade, a flathead, and a Phillips. And it should be something that you just want to stick in your pocket when you get home, or you put it in your pocket when you get up first thing in the morning to carry it with you when you're just going to be at home just something to smooth over the little problems that happen in your house. And today we are going to look at the Gerber Splice. Now this, oh, this is the kitty cat edition. I will show you where you can get that at the end of the video. And it, normally it comes in all black and silver, kind of like you see on the rest of this here. So the Gerber Splice is an unexpected entry to me. I did not expect to like this. I purchased it because it very specifically met the criteria I was looking for and it's small. So another example of a tool that meets these criteria is right here. This is the Victorinox Rambler. The Rambler is a wonderful tool, but it's very small size means a very small scissors and an extremely small blade. In addition, while I love this Phillips for a lot of things, it doesn't work on all of the larger Phillips screws. Although, I mean, honestly, it does work on a surprising amount. I do love that it has the toothpick and the tweezers and a nail file, which works really well um, at the base of this little flathead. And it is possible to use this even in larger flatheads by kind of putting it into the slot of the flathead, uh, not this way, but like around this way. So it, it definitely works. It definitely punches way above its weight class, as they say, but it still is a little bit on the petite side with some of those tools. And that is something that attracted me to the Gerber Splice. Now let's take a look because one of these tools is actually better than you're gonna find even on the considerably larger Super Tinker. Let's take a look. And here I've got the Rambler and the Splice here in the middle and the Super Tinker down on the bottom. Let's open up these Super Tinker tools and let me tell you about the prices. A Super Tinker is running, you know, around $30, $35 a lot of the time. Uh, the Splice is the, uh, you know, middle expensive run one running 20 to 23, 24 bucks. Sometimes you can find it for considerably less, however. And then the Rambler is running around 23-ish dollars, $28 as well. So let's take a look at these Phillips. You can see the size is significantly different. And here I am using the Gerber's Phillips on some difficult and annoying screws that I use for testing quite a bit on my cabinet hardware. And you can see it does work. It's not super easy to use, but it definitely gets the job done. It is an okay Phillips. There is a nail file here as well, and let's compare it to the nail file on the Rambler. Now the Rambler's nail file is really good. Here you can see the difference. It's like a diamond or something nail file on the Rambler, whereas this one is like, just got cuts across, like a crosscut file or something. I don't know what you call it, but you can see the size on the tip of that is about the same, and it's also about the same as the tip of the 2D Phillips on the Super Tinker. Now let's look at the next tool on here, and this is going to be a little unusual. This is the flathead, and you can see the flathead is uh, got a little notch in the back, and I really feel like that's going to decrease the sturdiness of it. Here it is in comparison to the standard Victorinox size, and then even in comparison to the flathead on the Rambler, you can see, you know, if you look at that notch, it's actually much, much narrower on the Gerber, which is kind of unusual. Now here's the deal. This is actually a two-part tool because the screwdriver, the flathead, or slotted, is also the cap lifter. And that little other part of the cap lifter is going to jam into whatever you are working with if you are using a slotted screwdriver that uh, is working on a slotted screw that's recessed. And then here we have a small slotted driver as well. Now here is the main blade, and I love this blade shape. I completely love it. Let's compare it with the blade shape on the not much smaller, but the blade is way, way smaller, Victorinox. This blade is really good. I like it a lot, but you can see the key ring is a problem. Now here, the key ring on the Rambler is at the opposite side of the blade, but even on some 58 millimeter Swiss Army knives that have the key ring up by the blade, it's not like right adjacent to the cutting surface. Look how weird that is. You could never have keys on here 
and use it at the same time. I have no idea why they left it here. Now, that being said, for all the time I carried this, which was actually quite a while, I never, not only did I not have it on my keys, but I also didn't remove that key ring, and it really didn't seem to get in the way, but it's just such a weird place. This serrated blade is also adjacent to that key ring, and it does work super good on cardboard. I really enjoy having this blade. Thank you to everybody in the SOG Power Pint video that told me to use the serrated blades on cardboard. Now this scissors though, this scissors is awesome. It does cut paper. You can see I'm holding it a, a little bit weird here and I'll show you why in a second, but cutting paper is actually super easy with this. It works just fine with that. But the thing about this scissors is that it's robust. Look at this though. When I let go, it causes the scissors to like bounce back out of my hand. It is really annoying. You have to kind of hold it by the back there and I did get used to it, right? But that's why I have this weird hand position here. Now, let's compare kind of all three of these scissors I together in the scissorsorium. We're first going to start off by looking at these sticks. Okay, so this little stick, I'm going to compare it with the little Gerber, or the little uh, Victorinox, excuse me. And you know, that stick is just way too big for that. However, with this Gerber splice. I could just cut this all day. It is really, really sturdy. I was shocked to discover that. And even if I use a larger stick and I compare it with the larger and very well thought of, and with good reason, like there is good reason to say that Victorinox has the best scissors. However, they're just, I mean, it's not built for something like this. Yes, it can accomplish cutting that stick, but it is just uh, not quite as easy. It actually hurts your hand when you're trying to do that. And this Gerber really will just chew through these all day. Yeah, it really hurt my thumb to do this. I finally gave up here because it just felt like I was going to break the scissors. Now let's take a look at that bottle opener. And I, while you observe this and make your own conclusions, I will tell you where to get the Kitty Cat Edition. So in order to get the Kitty Cat Edition, you have to go and purchase a 3M product, which is a washi tape. <laughs> and this particular washi tape uh, is from the the Expressions series, I believe. And then you really just stick the tape onto appropriate parts of your Gerber Splice, and you too can have a kitty cat version of the Gerber Splice. Yeah, and you can enjoy that because you, it's gonna take you a long time before you enjoy the beer. Thanks for watching.